Hi friends, welcome to Hulia's Turkish Kitchen. Today I have an easy to make recipe for a simple hummus. I'll be showing you how to make your own homemade tahini and we'll be using overnight soaked chickpeas. The whole process is very simple and you'll never want to buy hummus from the shop again. This is a list of what you'll need. If you prefer, of course you can use tinned chickpeas as well as ready bought tahini. My chickpeas had been previously soaked overnight and put in the freezer. This makes life much easier when you want to use them. If you're using tinned chickpeas, you can miss this part out. Otherwise, cover with cold water and add one teaspoon of baking powder and cook for about 30 minutes or until tender. Whilst the chickpeas are simmering away, to make homemade tahini, place 300 grams of sesame seeds into a large flat pan. And on low heat, keep stirring until the seeds become a light golden color. Ensure they are browned evenly by stirring continuously. In the meantime, keep checking on the chickpeas and remove the foam as it appears. After about 30 minutes, the chickpeas should have softened. Check if you can cut through one of them, then drain off the water. Rinse under cold water and place back into the pan. Cover the chickpeas with cold water and using your hands, gently rub the chickpeas to loosen the outer skins. The skins start floating on the top of the water and these can be easily removed using a spoon. The hummus will taste much better if these skins are removed, so take out as much as you can. You'll be left with silky smooth chickpeas which will taste fantastic. By now, the golden pan roasted sesame seeds should have been removed from the heat and allowed to cool to room temperature. Place in a blender and blend for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, add 105 millilitres of sesame oil into the blender. Alternative oils can be used such as sunflower, rapeseed or avocado oil as well. Gently fold in the oil, then add half a teaspoon of salt. Keep blending until you have a smooth and silky consistency. Once you've reached the desired consistency, transfer to a clean jar, separating six tablespoons for your hummus, which we will be needing later. This homemade tahini can be kept in the fridge for up to six months and is great for a multitude of recipes. My favorite is mixing it with honey as a delicious spread on your toast. Now on to making the hummus. Place the cooked chickpeas into the cleaned blender. Add six tablespoons of tahini and the juice of two lemons depending on your taste. Gently mix to combine. By the way, I forgot to mention to use a strainer or sieve when pouring in the lemon juice to ensure it's just the juice which you are incorporating. Then blend for about three minutes. Using a spoon, fold in the sides from time to time to make sure you have a consistent finish throughout. Then add up to three crushed garlic cloves depending on your taste. Add the seasoning. I've used one teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of salt. Then add three tablespoons of olive oil. Continue to blend for a further five minutes, folding in the sides with a spoon from time to time. Finally add 4 ice cubes, adding one at a time, and continue to blend. For ice cubes, coarse for hummus adds moisture and a creamy texture, so you have an amazing creamy hummus at the end.
Once you have this consistency, your hummus is ready to serve. Check that you're happy with the seasoning and add more if needed before serving. I've separated mine into three individual portions, but you can also serve in one larger plate, depending on your preference. You can also store in an airtight container and use as and when, and hummus can also be frozen for up to four months. If serving straight away, level the top with the back of a spoon and make a sort of a well around the edge as shown. Then drizzle with some olive oil and sprinkle on some chili pepper or paprika before finally garnishing with a sprig of parsley and a couple of black olives on each portion. There are various ways to garnish your hummus and really it's down to personal preference and what you have available. Afiet Olson If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my delicious recipes. To watch more of my videos now click on the links at the end. See you next time!